Hey Fiberistas! Many of you know, or most of you know, Knit and Escape is hosting a magical weekend this month in a couple of weekends, and I will be teaching my sand art technique, the magic of sand art technique during that event. And I wanted to share with you guys some of the other ways in which you can incorporate the sand art into your knitting projects. So you'll see here, I made this, this is a very large cowl. You can wrap it twice around your neck or you, I thought maybe over, a, you know, like a fall sweater or coat, you could sort of do this for a pop of color, your little Girl Scout sash. Uh, you can use the technique in hats, right? So here I've done a hat. Here I stuck with a lot of pinks and purples. Again, I have a lot of cowls just because they're much faster to whip out. Uh, so here, these are some of my earliest experimentations. I love to experiment. Here's one we've got pink and black. Yes, I love pinks, you guys. Pinks and teals. So you saw the hat. This was actually my very first one. The, uh, my first complete project. I had tested out the technique on another project, but just at the end, and then I, this was my very first one that I made a few years ago. And I use, you can use any weight of yarn. This one is done with fingering and mohair held together, mostly throughout. Sometimes I used just one colorway, sometimes two. It just depends on texture and things that you're going for. Here's another sample. I've got all my samples and I knit a poncho. Here I stuck with all shades of pink. And so what I did is I would incorporate the sand art technique into this cowl. And so that would sit like this on your, it's too hot here for me to put this on. As it is, I'm dying in there. <laughs> so there are some options for you guys. So I will see you at the Magical Knit and Escape weekend event in a couple weeks and check out my sand art technique class. Bye.